Hello, it's March 14th, 2014, and that means it's Pi Day. And this year I came to the Quartzsite Cemetery here in Quartzsite, Arizona, to the High Jolly Monument. High Jolly was a camel driver uh, in the mid 1800s that uh, came over to the United States to help drive camels across the desert. This is his tomb. I knew that the High Jolly Monument was in the shape of a pyramid, so the idea I had was to come here, take some measurements, and uh, calculate the volume. Turns out the formula for calculating the volume of a pyramid does not include the use of pi. But, if we pretend it's a cone, well then uh, we can do something with pi. So, uh, anyway, I came here uh, and uh, forgot to bring a tape measure, so uh, luckily there was a hardware store here in Quartzsite, and I got myself a tape measure, and I took some measurements. It is a square base, and the length of one side is 103 inches. I just kept thinking inches. And then the height was approximately 103 inches. And so if we type that information into the formula for calculating the volume of pyramid, which is 1 divided by 3 times the base squared times the height, we come out with 364,242 square inches. That's the volume of this pyramid, approximately. If we pretend it's a cone, uh, where it has a circular base and the diameter of the circle is the same length as side of the base, which means 103 inches, and it's a cone of the same height, 103 inches, well then I can convert the volume of the pyramid into the volume of the cone by taking the volume of the pyramid and dividing it by the quantity 8 divided by pi divided by 2. And I went, already went and did that calculation and it comes out that the High Jolly Monument was a similarly shaped uh, cone, it would have a volume of approximately 286,075 square inches. So it's Pi Day, I am wearing Pi t-shirt, and I have my second Pi t-shirt here, and uh, there is our Joy of Pi book that travels with us every Pi Day. Uh, on my way into Quartzsite, I stopped at Darlene's uh, Sweet bakery, I think was called, I got myself a slice of app, uh, pecan pie, so that's pecan pie, I'm going to eat that in just a minute here, and then, interestingly, the hardware store was a combination hardware store liquor store, and I was able to get some apple pie flavored moonshine. So I'm not going to drink that here because I could get arrested, yeah, but yeah, we'll tap into this when we get home. So, Pi Day 2014, we're at the High Jolly uh, Monument here in Quartzsite, Arizona, and, and I'm going to go ahead and, as tradition has it, take a piece of, of a bite of the pie here, pecan. Looks good. Let's see if Sweet Darlene's is sweet. Mm. That's pretty good pecan pie. So when you're in Quartzsite, I know where to get some good pie. Sweet Darlene's. I'll read the plaque since I'm eating. Last camp of High Jolly, born somewhere in Syria about 1828, died at Quartzsite on December 16, 1902. Came to this country February 10th of 1856. He was a camel driver, a packer scout, and over 30 years of faithful aid to the U.S. government 
and this plaque was uh, put up by the Arizona Highway Department in 1935. And this is darn good pecan pie. Hmm. I might as well try to recite the digits of pie that I know. I can do this better when I'm writing it down, but I'm going to try. 3.14159265358979323846264338327950 and I have no idea if that's even close to being right. I got I got to write it up. Anyway, uh, that's it. It took me uh, 144 miles to get here. Now I'm going to drive home 144 miles. So, uh, Pi Day 2014 at the High Jolly Monument in Quartzsite, Arizona. I'm going to end this movie.